I have been threatened by the government, and I know that there's no point in pressing charges. They have taken action against me illegally. They have sabotaged several different accounts, my YouTube, my MySpace, my Facebook, my Twitter. I'm down to pretty much my Twitter and trying to work the bugs out of my Facebook, excuse me, my YouTube. So, they have shown me there's a shadow government who's manipulating the scenes like they did in that case in Seattle and that they will not acknowledge that the Justice Department and that the different federal agencies like the EEOC and the different factions of the different agencies that are responsible for the prisons. Okay, the Justice Department is exactly you know, the criminal justice system, we're talking about the Justice Department, we're talking about, okay, when the state does not comply with federal law, it is federal organizations that do the investigations. So when we're talking about a discrimination lawsuit that is not being appropriately handled by the state, the federal government feels obliged to step in. Like when the, during segregation, when the troops had to be, had to come in the south, to enforce the rulings of the federal government that said you cannot segregate your schools and you can't be a bunch of racists treating black people bad. Well, we live in a similar time, except for the federal government has been infiltrated by the white racists, so they're not going to stop them, but they're going to aid them every step of the way. And they're going to use the Native Americans, the Mexicans, and the Asian Americans against us. It's sad that we it's sad that all the minorities, all the other subordinated minorities have vested interests with the white power elite to deny the black man of his history, to deny the black man of his talents, to undermine his achievements, and to exaggerate the achievements of white people and Asians like Jeremy Lin. I could beat Jeremy Lin with one tie and hand tie behind my back. He's not a great basketball player. He sat the bench for a reason. He sat the bench for a reason. You know, he got he got a little bit lucky, so what? Reggie Miller did a much more impressive shot in a much more important game in a clinch situation in the playoffs. I mean, I've seen countless black people do much greater than Jeremy Lin. In fact, the other Asian players, I, I believe, are better than him. Yao Ming and, and them. I mean, yeah, I'd rather have them on my team than Jeremy Lin. So, the Asians, the whites, and the Hispanics, and the Native Americans have all denied that their cultures come from ours. They're all denying that the suffering in Africa relates to their indifference in the treatment of blacks, and they all are only concerned with helping their own races while pretending to have the interests of the black people in mind, but they do not. They only admit what they have to, what the textbook shows them they have to admit. And the injustices that have taken place, they will phrase, they will word in a certain way that undermines that the black man's struggle and downplays his achievements, as well as furthers the agenda of these specific minority groups, be it the Asians or the Native Americans or the Hispanics, the Mexicans, the El Salvadorans, etc. They're all against us. So, in the end, the answer is a violent military campaign. The reason why I had to form the Vengeance Group in secret is because they're going to be looking for me. They're going to be looking for me to do drive-bys. They're looking for me to park my car down the street and do walk, you know, walk-bys and do home invasions. They're they're looking at me. I'm in the spotlight. They're looking at me to figure out who my Vengeance Group is. That's why I didn't speak on it until everything was in place. In order for the hammer to hit the nail which is going to go into the ground and hit the primer and cause the explosion. The government has to act. So now it's all about being as obnoxious and coordinating as many attacks as I can until they react and we bring about the big one. I know they didn't consider this when they thought about the different bombs. You know, you go to the different websites, they, they don't consider this. You know, they, they're concerned with homemade bombs that are quite elementary, that lack the mathematical insights that I have, that lack the chemistry. 
It's funny, you know, because I got a bad grade in chemistry. It's because I was high the whole time and that temper, you know, that short term memory. And then it all kind of comes back to you. And you realize not only was society oppressing me with their system, but they're also doing it with the individual teachers, and they're also doing it with drugs, and they're also doing it with the image they've created for the black man, the stigma, which makes it so women don't like us. So, do I feel bad about the children and the women and children of other races? I chose San Jose for my first example because it's less than 11% black. This is an Asian city, a white city, a Hispanic city. And I'm willing to sacrifice them all. You were indifferent to the suffering of my people. Watch how it feels. Vengeance. God said he would share with me.